Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kevin Mullen, Chair of the Green Mountain Care Board, and I'm about ready to call this meeting to order. And the purpose of this meeting is to have an open public hearing and hear from the public about the proposed QHP rate filings that are before the board now for MVP and Blue Cross Blue Shield. Um, unfortunately, um, we're still working uh, remotely, so it's uh, not as easy as it used to be uh, for some when we would just meet at City Hall in Montpelier. But we have had feedback from a lot of other people who are very grateful that they don't have to drive to Montpelier and saving the uh, cost of gas and everything else. So there are plus and minuses to either way. But in any event, this is a two hour public hearing and we are here to listen to you. And so um, if you're familiar with the team's um, setup, you can click the, the raise hand function or if nobody else is speaking, you can just uh, offer your name and I'll recognize you. When you begin speaking, if you could just state clearly your name and um, the town of your residence, and that would be very helpful for us as we, we record all the public comments. For anyone who's shy, we do have an open um, written public common, comment portal that's now available by going to our website and you can enter a public comment there as well. So with that, I'll ask if there are any members of the public who wish to comment at this time. Oh, before I do that, let me have the board introduce themselves, talk a little bit about themselves. And I also want Mike Fisher to introduce himself and talk about the help that might be available for people that um, could possibly need it if they're in certain circumstances. So we're gonna go in order of seniority on the board. And again, my name is Kevin Mullen. I live in Rutland, Vermont. I am the chair of the board um, for two more weeks and then I'm retiring. So with that, I'll turn it over to Jessica Holmes. Great, it's nice to see folks on the screen here. My name is Jessica Holmes. I live in Cornwall, Vermont, and I have been on the board for over seven years. I will turn it over to Robin Lund. You're muted, Robin. <laughs> Her audio is not working. She's going to sign back in. I will turn it over to uh, Tom Pelham. Well, good late afternoon. Um, I'm Tom Pelham. I'm from Arlington, Vermont. Uh, I now live in Berlin, just outside of Montpelier. And I've been on the board four and a half years. Um, five years, maybe, well, close to five years. And, uh, um, but I, like Kevin, Kevin beat me to it, but I, I'm heading for the retirement field um, at the end of September. I volunteered to stay through the uh, rate review and hospital budget process, and uh, um, it's keeping me awake at night. Mm -hmm. So I will turn it over to the other Tom. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Tom Walsh, I live in Barrie. Um, I teach health policy and health systems and am a physical therapist. I've been on the board for six months. All right, let me try this again. Can you hear me now? We can. Okay. Awesome. This happens frequently with my teams for some reason. Hi, everyone. I'm Robin Lunge. I'm from Brattleboro, Vermont, and I currently live in Berlin as well, coincidentally. Um, and I have been on the board, it will be six years at the end of September. So welcome and looking forward to hearing folks' stories. So with that, Mike, if you could introduce yourself. Sure, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, board members. Um, Mike Fisher here, I am the state healthcare advocate um, and, in, uh, and I live in Lincoln. Um, and in addition to the role, the official role that my office plays in these proceedings, Today, uh, right now, I, I just want to mention the role that the HCA plays in support of Vermonters. And so if anybody uh, uh, on this meeting uh, has a comment that uh, uh, thinks that they could use some help, I just want to make sure you know of us as a resource. We have eight lay advocates who are on the phone every day helping people with all kinds of access to care problems. And you can reach us 
You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on the phone at 800-917-7787 or an email at HCA, HCA at vermontlegalaid.org. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. And thanks for all that you and your team do for Vermonters throughout the year. So with that, um, again, if you're familiar with Teams, just uh, click on the raise hand function and I will call on you. Or if you're not familiar or if you're just calling in, you could just speak up and I'll recognize you. And again, if you could state your name clearly, because everything is recorded by the court reporter for the official docket, and then say the town uh, that you reside in. So with that, I'll ask for public comment. Does anybody wish to offer public comment at this time? There are no hands raised, so if anybody wishes to speak up, please do so. Um, as a matter of course, we will keep this line open for the next two hours anyways to make sure that if anybody is still working and um, is unable to come on at this time that they would still get a chance later to um, come on and, and uh, offer their public comment. And if we don't hear from the public, we may start uh, telling stories here, so that will be real boring. So um, if any member of the public wishes to offer public comment, that would be great. Next from our executive director asking what we should do. Susan, I, you might have missed, uh, we're gonna hang in here for the next two hours. So if you have any good stories or anything that you would like to tell, <laughs> um, feel free. And uh, we're hopeful that, you know, there may be still be some people working that uh, will want to join us and um, offer up. This is not going to be an easy year for people. So um, I fully expected that we would be overwhelmed with public comment this year, as we have with the written public comment. And maybe that's one reason why we're not getting much on the verbal public comment, is that people have chosen to uh, put everything in writing. And the last time I looked, there was 100, 141 pages of written comment. Mm -hmm. And some very impactful comment, too. I think on our comment form, um, Tom, it's, we're up to 185 is the count. So, and I'm guessing like, the board has 40-ish, so I'm guessing there'll be another five-ish pages tomorrow, too. We do have about 80 comments that have come in this week that I will update for tomorrow. Um, so there'll be quite a few more pages coming in. That was Jennifer De Polito from the Green Mountain Care Board. If Folks were wondering what that voice was. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Again, if anybody has just joined us, um, we are the Green Mountain Care Board and we're here to take public comment. You can just start speaking if you would like, or you can raise your hand and I will recognize you. And if you do have a public comment, if you could begin by saying your name and your town of residence, as these uh, proceedings are transcribed by a court reporter and go into the official record for our rate review decisions for the QHP filings for Blue Cross and MVP. Kevin, this is Jen um, Chermelin. I was just gonna put up the, um, I prepared a slide so folks would know if they did join that they could um, either raise their hand or unmute themselves to make a comment if that would be helpful in case folks join throughout the two hours. Thank you, Jen. You're a step ahead. Please do. Okay. So let's pick on some people that we see that are here at the meeting. 
and I see that Charles Becker is here. How are things going so far, Mr. Becker, in your new position at, with the healthcare advocate? I would say so far so good. Um, you know, I mean, I was certainly nervous coming into this position. It's a pretty specialized area of knowledge, and I was hoping I'd be able to pick it up pretty quickly. And and I I feel like it's going well. Reading those actuarial memos for the first time, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't trust what Charlie says, uh, Chair Bowen, because I'm on the line, so he has to watch what he says. <laughs> hey, hey, Jen, why don't we pull down the the shared screen so we can see each other it, it, as long as we're still chatting? That makes sense. Sure, I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Suggestion. Kevin, I, I I noticed that Representative Representative Goldman is here, so I just wanted to say hello to her. I don't want to put her on the spot, but I did want to just say hello. Leslie, would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Robin. Um, hi, yeah, I'm Leslie Goldman, um, representing Wyndham Three, um, the old Wyndham Three. Uh, I was reapportioned, so there'll be a new Wyndham Three, and shifted that way. Um, I've been following your work along; it's fascinating. I'm not sure how much of it I get. I sat through the Blue Cross filings, holy moly. Um, so it's it's a lot of hard work. So thank you all for that. And thank you, Chair Mullen. I've been watching you from afar for two years now, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. I hope to be successful at it. So many of my friends have failed and gone back to work. <laughs> Well, I retired from being a nurse practitioner for 37 years, and the thing that was really special about it was it was the first time in my life I was in control of my own time. And, you know, ever since childhood, you know, you have to go to school and you have to go here and there, and you don't. You just, it, it was very special. Then I did this, which, of course, was, I'm still wondering about that, but that's a whole other conversation. But it's a choice, and it's an experience, and... Uh... You know, thank you for doing that because we need people like you in the legislature that understand health care and, and have actually lived it. So, yeah, thank you. I, I understand what I'm calling the front of the house as a clinician. I don't understand the back of the house, which is the financial, and that's what I'm learning. So, it's hard stuff. Well, welcome. Thank you. Share yeah, screen. Jen, why don't you put the, the screen back up? And again, if anybody um, is here for public comment on the QHP filings for Blue Cross Blue Shield and MVP, um, we are here to uh, listen and we have a court reporter to make sure it, it all gets officially into the record. record. Um, so if anybody does wish to uh, speak, either just uh, raise their hands on the team's format or just begin speaking. And in any event, we will be hanging out here till six o'clock, just in case um, we get some people who are still at work and would like to comment a little bit later. So um, with that, uh, I guess we can all just work on some of our paperwork on the side. And uh, if anybody wishes to say anything, just uh, feel free to uh, speak up. I'm surprised we didn't get any, somebody at least. Well, so many people have sent in their written public comments. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's so such, a those... such a complicated uh, topic, too. Yeah. Well, a lot of those letters were, were well-crafted. Yep. It feels like it's, um, you know, taking the... <clears throat> You know, the last two years really not pushing public comment, um, you know, and, and so we dropped from what, pre-pandemic, like 900 written comments. Um, you know, I, I think, well, at least I was thinking about, you know, we, we were we were always going to lose a lot of momentum um, from that. And I it seems like we've been able to gain back a little bit of momentum um in the written comments but maybe not speaking but also i mean i i would agree like with the written comments people seem to have spent a fair amount of time with them like they're not you know a sentence long or most of them so it's um 
I don't know. I mean, it's I, I, honestly, I would say too. I I thought. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be like turn out like in pre-pandemic, um, but the lack of turnout for this is a bit of a surprise, but at the same time, the amount and depth of public comments is a bit of a surprise, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. I was kind of thinking maybe we'd get 100 if we were lucky. <laughs> we tried to um, get the word out. It's just so hard. Yeah. Well, it's probably a little bit of that ex exponential factor here, too, that, you know, you start with a small group of people that write a written comment and then the next year, you know, uh, they tell their friends, write a written comment, you know, especially with the rates going up. I mean, they've got the, the wind at their back in that in, in, in that regard. And so um, 141 pages is a lot of pages. It sounds like we have a lot more coming too. I think what I've what I've also heard from um, community organizations is that they were reticent sometimes to really encourage the um, this forum because they felt they were asking their members. It was a lot of emo relive a lot of emotional trauma. Um, it is. It's a very it's a very hard experience for a lot of people. Yeah. And so, you know, I think, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I have it. I mean, this is something I would ask about. Well, I mean, for me, post rate review. So, but after I finish writing the brief, but while you're in the thick of it, um, ask about that and try to understand a little better what, how they chose to act and how they chose to promote things. Because it, it hasn't, it hasn't honestly been something that I kind of, we put the wheels in motion a while ago and have kind of let it run its course. And I think it will be time in, you know, a few weeks to do kind of a post-mortem and touch base with, you know, VPIRC and Rural Vermont and the Workers' Center and and um, some of the um, local chambers and stuff. So I think we'll have a better insight come a little book before hospital budget hearings, maybe. Well, Jess and, Jess and Tom W., you've been awful quiet. You only have a minute left to entertain us. I move to adjourn. Uh, in one minute, I'll accept that. <laughs> Well, see, y'all laughed. I got some laughter out of it. Doesn't that count as entertainment? Yep. Yeah, the and best laugh of the Tom evening. It. And Tom W. can second it. <laughs> It'll take 30 seconds to vote. We're good. You, you, may, you may hear an articulate yes for me, even though I'm not allowed to vote. <laughs> <laughs> just to be safe, I don't want anybody to say that they didn't get a chance, so I'm going to wait till it, it just hit six. So is there a motion to adjourn? Yes, so moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of the night. Bye-bye. Have a good Bye. weekend.